Hi, we're here with Wrigley and we're going to demonstrate an ear cleaning and how to medicate ears. Now, I know I have the advantage of him being sedated. He's about to be neutered. So he has had a pre-anesthetic, but he's still awake enough to, to know what we're doing. I'm using a product called Epiotic Advanced. We have a couple different ear cleaners. Um, they're all very similar and the way to clean is the same. So you're going to open up the ear. And his is a little dirty. You can see he's got a little little dunk in his ear. You're going to flood the ear canal. So I put a fair amount of liquid in. Yeah, I know you don't like that, Wrigley. And then you're going to squish. Can you hear that? Yeah, very satisfying sound. <laughs> so you're going to squish and get that into all of the nooks and crannies. And then you're going to grab a cotton ball or a gauze, or even a Kleenex, just avoid paper towel. And you can swipe it out with your finger. Anything that you can touch in that ear with your finger is gonna be safe. I kinda like the gauze, but a cute, or a cotton tip, sorry, I'm struggling. A cotton ball is gonna do just as good of a job. So a lot of dogs hate this and they will fight it. If you don't actually do the part where you swipe it out, that's fine. They will shake their ears and the stuff that gets broken loose from this massaging will fly out when they shake their head. The reason I'm doing twice is because most dogs need it done in two repetitions. So, I'm also going to demonstrate how to medicate with a long-tipped ear med. Most of our ear medications are going to have long tips, and people worry that that tip is going to hurt the eardrum. I promise it's not. Dog's ear canals go in like ours. No. Dog, dog's <laughs> ears do not go in like ours. They actually go down. So when you go to apply the medicine, you're going to be completely vertical. I like to lift up the ear to extend the ear canal and put that tube straight down. You can see that I've got that tip entirely in the ear. I know Wrigley. Entirely in the ear and then a gentle squeeze. So I know it's hard to tell how much medicine is in the ear when you have that tip buried. So I'm just going to show you on my finger. You only need about that much medicine in the ear. So not a lot. But the key is to get it as deep as you can because that's where the infection originates. So, thanks.